Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but a similar reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Villa Belha Espirito Santo Brazil, Lumber. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of two wins, no losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, Dynamite. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. All right, ready to go for round one. As many of you know, this young man won his last fight by knockout. No TKO plus knockout for him the last time out. And now he is getting a shot against a truly elite fighter in this division. The question is, when the challenges get stiffer, will his game raise up to that next level? Throughout his career, when the challenges have gotten tougher, he has raised his game. That is exactly the goal in front of him tonight. All right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so then. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedown, he was secure. Let's see what he does from this position. Big call to touch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Second oh, fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Back to the feet now. There. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent very fast. 
Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh! He's out! Wow! Wow! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeVing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 13 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Knockout Dynamite! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. Today, let's go in there and get after it. There we go. Good, good. Moving on now. Love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. Good money. Come on. Thirty seconds left. wasn't your best day, but tomorrow will be better.
All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Beautiful combination. Love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. Awesome job. Let's move on. Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. That's it! That's the way! You got 30 seconds. Let's go! Beautiful combo! Keep at it! You know we could have done a little bit better. We could have done worse, too. Let's get out there, attack the legs, take them down, and get on top. All right? Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Here we go, baby, that's a combo. Come on. Nice timing on that takedown. Here we go. Hey! 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 Thirty to go. Hey. Show me. Settle down there, let's work. Oh, nice job. Now that was wrestling 101. Pummel into position, work for the single. Speed, time, reaction, that's the goal today. Good work! Nice 
this block! Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Good, good, yes. Good work with your kicks. That's what I'm talking about. He's starting to fall apart. Stay busy. Stay busy. Let's go. 30 on the clock. Great combo. That's what I'm talking about. Keep it up. Good job in there. Your kicks are... My clock doesn't stop until you submit it. Let's go. Okay, okay. Let's keep working. Let's dominate. Let's go. That's it. That's it, that's it. Don't make it easy for him. That's how you throw a combination. Awesome stuff. Here we go. Let's go. 30 on the clock. to see. You kept working for position, and you got it. Nice work. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup.
Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight more than five years apart with similar height and reach. All right, we send it inside the octagon and gentlemen, this fight to the veteran voice, Bruce the Buffer. UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of three wins, no losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, Dynamite. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Orlando, Florida, Mike Latham Perry. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. What? What? All right, ready to go with round one. Shades of Vitor Belfort circa 2013 for this young man. He's won his last three fights, all of them by vicious knockout. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. He is all about that left kick to the body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big body kick lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. Perry gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, huge Superman punch. Straight right hand now just misses. You don't know when that leg kicks up. Oh, Perry gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and secures the takedown. up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Boy, Ty Plum. Straight right hand, no good. Blocks that kick to the body. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Perry gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. 
Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, lands a vicious uppercut to the head. Beautiful uppercut. Shades of Mike Tyson on touch out back in the day. You couldn't take one of those uppercuts or you would go down. Mike Tyson, or maybe it was Super Sandman. One of those guys just had a crazy... Oh, uppercut. man! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet! It was placed perfectly, and now he's got it. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Man, what a fight so far! Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, let's get to round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, Perry gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Big leg kick lands. I mean, that right hand lands the square. All right, so a nice shot there defending. Oh. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pivot. Back to the feet. Oh! Huge liver kick. That might do it. That is it. He's done. He's done. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. He used a lot of body work to slow down his opponent. Once his opponent slowed down, he was able to really impose his will on him and get the finish in such a high-profile fight. So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 55 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by TKO Dynamite! Well, can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.